Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. Today, I'm very excited to check it out Safe Breaker from Yulu. This is for two to four players, ages six plus, taking about 15 minutes to play. And in Safe Breaker, you are going to be trying to listen to this safe to try and figure out whether or not the number that you are entering into the safe is right on the money, too high, too low, and you're going to be trying to deduce what number will open the safe so you can earn delicious coins and win the game. What am I talking about? Let's open it up. And I'll check it out. All right, then we're gonna take a look. What should I get inside of Safe Breaker? So first and foremost, we got a handy dandy rule sheet. There are two pages, double sided, uh, black and white, but they got colors, illustration, or the pictures, illustrations. Very well done. It should have you up and running in no time at all. It's also a really simple game, so I can teach you how to play right now. So in Safe Breaker, you're gonna be trying to be the first person to get five coins or to get two diamond coin. And the diamond coins are locked inside of this safe right here, which does require three AA batteries. Uh, when you first start the game, you are going to insert this little doodad right in here so you can hear what sound the safe is making as you try to crack the safe. But for review purposes, I'm actually going to take that out so you'll be able to hear the sounds the safe make. So what are you going to do? On your turn, you are going to take one of these cards. So I'll start with number nine. Place it right down in front of me, and then I'll go to uh, number nine. Actually, it was already on number nine right there. And then I'll hit this fingerprint button. And you hear it right there? It went ping, 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 ping. Well, if it goes ping, ping, that's the high sound, which means that the correct number that you're looking for is higher than the number that you put. So I now know secretly, because remember I use this right here, that the number is higher than a nine. So someone else might go, and they might pick, uh, for instance, the five right here. So... That person would pick the five, they'd take the safe, boom, they turn it to five, and then they would hit the button. And of course, they get that sound as well, which means they now secretly know that it's higher than a five. Let's pretend it's a three-player game. This guy goes over here. He goes 14. That's his lucky number because he's weird. Whose lucky number, favorite lucky number is 14? That's just absurd. So he would click it to 14. He would secretly, you know, obviously be listening for this, but he'd hit the button. And it's still higher than 14. So now this guy's right here. He's sitting at 9. And he's like, well, how high do I want to go? You know what? I'm going to go to 13. So he'd boot. We'd get 13. He'd go up. Uh, do, 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 13. And there is the other sound that you're potentially going to hear, which is the lower sound. So here, you hear like that. I'll get it close. Make sure you can hear it. So now that's a much lower pitch sound, which means that the, the number is actually lower than a 13. But now this is the point where you're saying, wait, no, 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 because that person just did a 14 and they said it was higher. And you can't be higher than 14, but lower than 13, because that's not how numbers work. And then I tell you, oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it's so frustrating and it's so stupid. But let's, 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 let's get ahead. Let's just figure out what the magic number is. So we hit 12 and now it doesn't work at all. Uh, turn it back on, and it's completely broken. Completely broken. Really? I didn't even punch it that hard. Don't blame it on the punch. Oh, let's see. So the safe just popped open. So hooray. Maybe punching it's how you get the money out. So look at there. That's a good start. So I would get, uh, oh, look. I actually just won the game because <laughs> I got two diamonds. Normally, it doesn't happen. Uh, so what you can potentially get is you can get coins, uh, which are these ones right here, or you can get the diamonds, which are right here. And there's also another symbol, which is that right there, which is bad, because that means that you lose all your coins, and uh, you, you keep that, but then you keep the alarm, but then. So then you start another round by pressing this in, but here's the catch. You can't actually press it in unless the back is in for some bizarre reason. I don't know why, but we found that out yesterday, that you can't actually do it. So now, boom, you start up, and... And you would play another game. Uh, and then you would probably play maybe one or two more games until uh, you realize that, hey, this thing's completely broken and it never works. And you wasted your money and Target probably won't take it back and you cry. But that, in a nutshell, is what you're going to get inside of Safe Breaker. Alrighty then, Safe Breaker from Yulu. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the pro side, the game has great table appeal, great components. These are nice. The safe, you know, I punched in the middle part. It actually really hurt my hand, uh, so it's still stinging a little bit. But very solid plastic, and it's really cool how the mechanism works. The more you guess, the more coins are in there. 
Uh, and I love the fact that there's deduction in this game because not enough kids games do deduction because there's public information and there's private information because what other what cards other people take is very useful information and kids can sort of deduce after that second or third card which cards they should be going for and which cards they shouldn't be going for using both their private information that they heard and also the public information out on the table and I really like the fact that, that, that this game tries to do that. Also as a teacher I love the fact that this game focuses on greater than and less than because I think this would be fantastic for kindergartners and first graders who are still trying to work on that concept a little bit because this is a fun way to work on this concept if the game worked that is. Um, component wise great components uh, it looks cool and that's what I've got. In theory this should be a really awesome slam dunk recommendation go get it for your kids for Christmas I really enjoy the game recommendation. Unfortunately, it's not because it doesn't work. So, let me tell you my horror story about SafeBreaker. I brought it in my classroom, put the batteries in, everybody was around the table, looks super cool, and we played, and we played, and it was intense. People were listening. People were like, shh, I'm trying to listen, I'm trying to listen, and it was exciting. And we had a whole group of kids around the table who were like, oh my gosh, can we play this next? Can we play this next? It looks super fun. And I started to look around the table, and I was like, wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait, stop, pause, pause, kids. Okay. Remember, when it goes ding, ding, that means higher. But when it goes boom, boom, that means you need to pick a lower number. And they're like, oh, okay, okay. And I was like, because I just assumed they'd forgotten which sounds were which. And so, and I was like, okay, I think I've got this. I think I've got this. I think I've figured it out. It should be this card right here. It should be this. Because it said I needed to go higher than this number. And it said I needed to go lower than this number. And there's only one number in between there. So I'm about to get these coins. I'm about to get these coins. And then I hit it. And it was like, dum, dum. I was like, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's not right. And then I hit another number. I was like, all right, let me test something out because I'm pretty sure I would have got it right. And then I was like, another number wasn't it. And then another number wasn't it. And then another number wasn't it. And then we picked another number that had already been picked and somebody had already done and it did work. And we were like, wait a second. Well, let's try this again. Maybe we screwed it up somehow. Maybe, maybe, maybe we messed it up. So we tried it again. And everybody was still watching because everybody was still into the game. It was still a really cool game. And they're like, all right, here we go. Here we go. And then I got the same thing happen again where it said, hey, go lower. But then later on in the game, it actually said, hey, for that exact same number because I was like, this doesn't seem like it's working. It said, go higher. I think it was like an eight. It said, go lower on eight. And then like five turns later, it was like, go higher on eight. And I was like, what? That doesn't work. So I was like, all right, kids, I don't think this works. So they were incredibly disappointed. So thank you, Yulu, for disappointing my classroom on day number one. So I took it home. I tried to play with my family. Once again, did not work. I took it back the next day, though, and I was excited. I was like, all right, guys, probably just the batteries. We found some half-dead batteries. Who knows how long they've been in there, probably since World War II. So, you know, we're going to try some new batteries. We got those energizers. Put the energizers into the safe breaker, and I was ready. But before that, we played another game. That game sucked. Uh, I don't remember what the heck it was called, but it was really, really bad. It was Ticket to Mars. Yeah, Ticket to Mars from GDM. That game's terrible. Should review that one. Tell you all about it later. Terrible, terrible game. Kids didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was boring. It was confusing. So then I was like, safe breaker. New batteries. Let's do it, kids. Let's rage! And we had another big table. Everybody was excited. Everybody wanted to see it work this time. And kids were like, yeah, this is going to be awesome. I want to play it next. And you know what? It didn't work again. So sheer and utter disappointment for two straight days. And I can't recommend this game. Which sucks, because I like the concept of this game. I like the components of this game. I like the ideas behind this game. And if this game worked, I think it would be a fantastic family game, a fantastic children's game. But as it stands now, it's a pile of crap. It does not work. It is broken. Now, hopefully, that's just my unit. But here's what I'm doing. I'm reviewing my unit. So as it stands, this is terrible. This is catastrophic. It does not work. You cannot play it. I've tried to play it 10 or 12 times now, and it's worked twice so in the end safe breaker no 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 naughty don't even consider it you look you look at it right now maybe you got two tabs open you're like oh that'd be a great christmas present for little billy it's on sale at target right now maybe should i get it i'm telling you no don't get it get one of their other games get uh i don't remember they got like three other games that are in the same line get one of those because those ones uh actually work also, the game has batteries, which was going to be a bugaboo for some people. It's got a restricted player count at two to four players. But the main problem is, of course, that it does not work. So in the end, Safe Breaker, while it looks super awesome, is not because it doesn't work. Maybe I'll just use it as a piggy bank for my kids or something like that. So, Safe Breaker from Yulu. Thanks for disappointing my kids.
If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below or in the comments below. Let me know when was the last time you played a game that didn't actually work. I can't really think of any other games because <clears throat> most of the time they're not dependent on, you know, a computer inside of a safe. So this is a really difficult question. When's the last time I played a game that didn't work? Uh, oh, I know. It was Electronic Battleship. Advanced Mission. But that's because I didn't have batteries. So I got batteries and then it worked. Because that's how games with batteries are supposed to work. Unlike this pile of crap. But let me know in the comments below. When was the last time you played a game and it just did not work? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.